Governor Charlie Baker has extended the closure of schools across the state through the month of April due to the coronavirus pandemic. Here to discuss the school's response to the outbreak is Superintendent of Springfield Public Schools, Daniel Warwick. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. So on Wednesday, the governor extended the closure until May 4th at the earliest. Is there any possibility that schools will just remain closed until the fall? Sure, I think we were all expecting the closure and quite honestly, I don't think any of us know right now what's really going to happen. But I think uh, the measured approach the governor took made a lot of sense. You know, it's important if we can to get kids back to school if it's safe. But right now there's a lot of unknowns and I think going till um, May 4th made a lot of sense and was the right decision for this time. We'd love to come back to school, but only if it's safe for our staff and kids. And so this is a big adjustment for many students. So what type of services are being offered to those students so they can continue learning from home? Well, you know, we we invested heavily. Uh, the mayor and school committee, Mayor Sarno, have been very uh, supportive relative to the budgeting process. And we made some decisions some years ago about investing heavily in technology. And that really is going to help us in a major way. So our, our teachers all have laptops. Our, our kids, we've gone one to one with laptops. We're going to do a major distribution process because they weren't all um, sent home. They weren't uh, for take home yet, but we're working on that now. So we're going to be able to do a lot electronically for our kids. But another thing we did in the interim was put a lot of work packets in, in our 16 food distribution sites that we have spread throughout the city. And today we served uh, 3,000 students, 6,000 meals. So uh, we're working hard on the food distribution, getting as much work out as possible, and working with our staff so they stay in communication with our students and families, and do as much as we can so the kids get um, as much educational value as we can during this difficult period. And so you d <clears throat> uh, just touched on the meals aspect. A lot of families, children rely on the meals that they're given. So is this a service that you see continuing for as long as school remains closed? Absolutely. And we're doing more and more meals every day and more and more people are using the service. And, uh, you know, it's just great that we have another option for families to help with that. You know, we serve 30,000 students uh, breakfast and lunch every day. So, you know, uh, it serves a huge community need. We have to make sure we fulfill that need. So we're staying open, we're working on that. And again, the numbers are growing every day. And we're working every way we can using technology, but again, some hard work packets available for families so that we're doing as much as we possibly can to keep the students engaged in, in uh, activities that would have educational value. All right, we're glad to hear that. Superintendent Warwick, thanks for being with us, and we'll hear from you again on 22 News at 530. Thank you. And now the 22 News Storm Team Forecast.